Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing this creepy crate. I received an email from Creepy Crate about a month ago and they asked if they could send me a box to open on my channel. And in the email, he just mentioned that the crate is a bi-monthly mystery box that contains an upcoming horror slash true crime book and creepy paraphernalia, collectibles, novelty items, and accessories. Creepy Crate is created and curated by the lineup. This is the box they sent me. It is a very big box, as you can see. And I am so excited to open this. It has been forever since I've opened a mystery box. And I love the artwork on here too. It is so cool. So hopefully that'll be a good reflection of what is in the box. And I came prepared. I have some scissors with me. So let's open the box and see what is inside. Luckily there isn't a whole bunch of tape on here so it's pretty easy to open. Okay, so the first things that are on here are a couple cards. Oh cool, so the first thing is a digital download for Charnel House by Graham Masterton. And it was an Edgar Award finalist apparently. And just the short description here, it says a demon-possessed house in San Francisco is out to devour the world in this horror tale by the acclaimed author of The Manitou. And then it has the instructions on how to download it and the digital list price is $9.99. So that's pretty cool. I definitely wanna get back into reading this year. I always say I'm gonna do that, so this year I have to do that because I love reading. I just never get around to doing it for some reason. So that is the first item in the box. So far so good. It looks like the other thing in here is like the spoiler card, so I'm not gonna look at that yet. The next thing I see in here is a shot glass and it says come play with us and then we have the Grady twins from The Shining. And I'm assuming that was supposed to be in the bubble wrap that was in here so it must have just fallen out good thing I didn't break or anything. And then yeah it looks like there's another shot glass and it's wrapped in the bubble wrap so. Okay, I'm just gonna find my scissors again because there's like a lot of tape on this. Oh, this is cute. The first shot glass said, come play with us. And then the second one says, forever and ever. And the first one was in black ink and then this one is in white. Those are so cute, I love those. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, very nice. The next thing we have are these skeleton gloves. So cute. Oh nice, the Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. I love this movie and I've never actually read the book so I'm really excited to read this. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's like a squishy thing. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. It's this cute little voodoo doll, but it's squishy. So it's kind of like a stress ball kind of thing, which I definitely need. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to keep this on my desk at work. That is adorable. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Ooh, so I got the lineup's 2020 cryptids calendar. That's so cool. So for January, we have the Kraken. What else is in here? February is the Jersey Devil. March is the Loch Ness Monster. I wonder if the Mothman is in here. That's one of my favorite cryptids. Yeah, Mothman in November. Awesome. I remember seeing that movie when I was a kid and it like freaked me out so much, so. Definitely one of my faves. I thought that was everything in the box, but we actually also got this enamel pin. Looks like this is supposed to be Krampus, maybe? I love this pin, it's so cool. Now that we made it through everything in the box, let's check out the spoiler card. 
It says, as one year dies and new terror dawns, usher in a fresh decade with the December, January creepy crate, we've packed this crate with ghoulish goodies that will keep you warm through the chill of winter, even as each item sends a shiver down your spine. Number one is the 2020 Cryptid Calendar, which is a 1999 value. Kick off 2020 with this exclusive calendar. This year, you'll count down the days with creepy cryptids from around the globe. From wilds of Australia to the streets of Detroit, these mysterious creatures have terrified locals the world over. Now they'll terrify you. Two is the Hands of Death touchscreen gloves, which is a $14.99 value. The Reaper's bony fingers are reaching out for your phone. Keep your hands warm all winter with these Hands of Death gloves. You'll stay toasty even when it's colder than the grave. I love these descriptions. Three is Squeeze the Zombie Toy, which is a $9.99 value. Next time you're thinking about reenacting a good old fashioned slasher scene to relieve some stress, grab the schoolish guy instead. When his head starts to bulge, you'll remember that there are less terrifying ways to feel better. Four is Don't Krampus My Style Pin, which is a $7.99 value. Some people think of Christmas as a time of joy, but they don't know about Krampus. Show off your readiness for the horrors of the holiday with this creepy crate exclusive Krampus pin. The fifth item is the Come Play With Us shot glass set, which is the $14.99 value. No, you're not seeing double. These menacing Grady Twin shot glasses are at the ready for any night of play. And the last item in the box is a horrifying new read, The Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. Or it looks like the other book you could have gotten is Stoker's Wild by Stephen Hopstaken and Melissa Prusi. And in the book is a $14.99 value. This is the first time I've gotten a creepy crate and I am definitely a fan. I like everything in the box. There's nothing that I don't like. Creepy Crate also provided a coupon code for my subscribers. So if you use the code Beckon at checkout, you will get $5 off of your first order of Creepy Crate. So if you're into like horror, true crime, or like anything creepy, you should definitely check them out. And I'll leave all the links for Creepy Crate down below. Anyways, thanks for checking out my Creepy Crate unboxing. I will have more videos coming up on this channel. I'm gonna have a thrift haul most likely coming up because I have been like thrifting a lot lately. I've just been so obsessed with thrifting. So I should definitely do a haul because I've been meaning to, I've just been busy and whatever. So yeah, more videos coming up hopefully soon. Um, make sure to like this video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in my next one.